Welcome back to Lessons in Liberty, a kid's point of view. We are now here interviewing Adam Kokesh. How do you think Ron Paul will do in the primary election? Better than people are saying. And that's what's so exciting about where we are right now with this presidential campaign. And when they do these surveys and these polls of likely Republican voters, they're trying to filter out people that aren't going to vote in the primary. And they can kind of do that by who they call. But there's another big problem with this. The people who they get to answer the phone are people that just so happen to be sitting at home in the middle of the day with landlines as opposed to cell phones. So every time you see Ron Paul competitive in a poll, remember that it's only the, the, the that crowd that's answering those kinds of surveys. That's great. Okay, this is kind of a big question. What What is your Christmas wish? My Christmas wish is for Ron Paul to be president. Yeah, a big surprise here. <laughs> I think that's everybody's Christmas wish here. <laughs> How do you think it will affect America if Ron Paul was elected? If Ron Paul is elected in, in 2012, I mean, when, when just the affirmation of that is, is so monumental, it, it almost doesn't matter what he does in office, as long as he keeps speaking the message, because it really doesn't matter what kind of government we have, if people demand that they should be free because they're inspired by the message of liberty to be the alphas of their own lives, to be in charge of their own destinies, and to say, I want that, I don't want to be dependent, I don't need a leader, I don't need someone to tell me what to do, that's the most important change. And the fact that he's reaching you at, at 11 years old, I mean, that's Think of how many people you're going to be able to touch in your generation, in your lifetime. And, and, and as excited as I am about the possibility of Ron Paul being president, I'm really much more excited to see your generation and the generation younger than you that's being raised by you know, the, 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 what in, in my generation was the minority of crazy libertarian activists who are going to be able to raise children who want this, who want to be free, who understand the issues and want to, to inspire other people with it, who are doing a show like this. Um, what do you think it will affect if Ron Paul is elected? If he isn't elected? I, I mean, uh, if he isn't elected, it, it, it's, we, we, we go on, we carry on, the message lives on. And I, I really am optimistic because I take the long view of human history and I can see that we've gone from a state of nature, law of the jungle, you know, whoever could pick up the biggest rock was in charge. And that was kind of what you had to do to survive. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's not that that was bad. That's just how we evolved as, as animals. I mean, that's, as a species, that's how we came to be humans. And, and we're evolving past that. And the libertarian message isn't government is bad, status are evil, and, and you sheep will need to wake up. It's, okay, well, this is how we're doing now, but look how much better we could be doing if we got rid of this moral exception for government. It's, it's an exciting time to be alive, isn't it? I mean, what you, what you are growing up with, what you are witnessing as, as kids now, is, is like no, no, one, no other previous generation's experience. We get to be the generation that grew up under statism and raised our children in freedom. When you are all having kids, it's going to be a much different world. What's that? It's mind-boggling. Yes, it's overwhelming, but that's that's the beauty of the human experience. What do you think is Ron Paul's best quality? Yeah. <laughs> Ron Paul's best quality, I think, is is as, a, as as an individual, is is humility. And the reason that's his best quality, aside from just being an admirable thing because it's essential to promoting a, a, a libertarian view of equality that says every human being is sacred, every human being has inalienable rights, to say that to, to live by humility, to live in, in acknowledgement of that, to carry that with you in, in every way that you speak and communicate the message. My most humiliating time? Oh, humiliating. I, I don't know, it's really hard to say. There's so many humiliating moments in my life. I try to 
humiliate myself on a regular basis, as, as you heard earlier today, just yesterday. And you don't have to add your <laughs> That's what I was going to say, just yesterday. I mean, it, it was, I'm kind of beyond humiliation at this point. So I don't get embarrassed very easily, but I think most people would be pretty humiliated to be handcuffed in their boxers in front of people at an airport for an hour. Is Ron Paul our only chance of one? No, he's not. He may be our only chance of specific things. He represents a unique opportunity. I, I have a sense of urgency about that. Like the Iowa caucuses are a couple weeks away, you know, and then New Hampshire. And, and yes, there's, there's an absolutely unique opportunity represented by Ron Paul's candidacy. But like I said, if he doesn't win, there's going to be another chance. The minds keep changing. The paradigm keeps shifting. All of the seeds that Ron Paul has planted are going to keep growing. And we're going to achieve this, this next phase in human evolution of a voluntary society. It's coming. And nobody can stop an idea whose time is coming. What was your best Christmas present? My best Christmas present? Oh. I don't know. Yeah. You know, I, let me try. Let me let me let me dodge that question. Libertarianism is, is, is based on certain philosophical truths. You know, the sacred non-aggression principle, the idea that, that you own yourself. And when when you're when you're able to see the value in that and believe in the value of yourself, it's, it's a far greater value than, than anything of, of, of physical worth in terms of making me happy and allowing me to enjoy my life. There's not a single Christmas present that I, I still have with me today that, 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 that is affecting me on a day-to-day -day basis. But the gift that I got from Ron Paul, the gift that I got from, from Murray Rothbard and, and Ludwig von Mises, you know, those, that, those gifts, having that here, I mean, that's something that never goes away. Well, back to the Christmas present. Oh, back to Christmas. All right. Um, I had to <laughs> the only reason why we're asking the Christmas um, ones is because is Christmas is next week. week. <laughs> um, and I, I just say okay, wait, 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 wait. So if, you, if you're asking me about Christmas because Christmas is next week and you want to know what to get people, yeah. the thing yeah. to do is just get them Ron Paul gear to help get yeah, Ron Paul elected, sure. right? And how about we give all some Ron Paul flyers and some Ron Paul cookbooks? But you know what? Even more importantly than that, let me, let me say something else. Because you know, there, there are a lot of people who are, who are, who are watching this um, who, who are probably getting ready to go home right now for some kind of holiday break or to spend some time with their family over the holidays. And the, the old American saying is at the dinner table, you don't talk about religion and politics. And I just want to say that as someone who feels that the knowledge that I've gained through, through my own libertarianism, uh, you know, as, 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 as the greatest gift, go share that with your family. Oh, well, I have to actually. say, this has to have been a really, really good early Christmas <laughs> present just meeting you. And that was really, really fun. And peace on earth. Thank you so much. It's been it's been an honor. I've, I'm I'm really I'm, to, to be able to sit down with, with with three young ladies like yourselves who are are so inclined to the message of liberty, who are tuned in enough to, to, to do this, to, to want to have an interview like this, to want to be involved, to have your own show like this. I mean, this gives me so much hope for the future, and really just just being able to see you do this has, has been a, a great gift for me. So thank you.